How to use Hive tutorial for beginners. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use Hive. Just the basic steps because this is gonna be a tutorial for beginners. So please watch till the end to understand the tutorial, to properly understand the tutorial. So Hive, what is Hive? Hive is a cloud-based project management software that any size of business can use to manage teams, collaborate, plan projects, assign tasks, and automate workflow processes. Okay, so Hive was founded in 2015 by co-founders John Fresnel and Eric Tipaldos, and I'm gonna show you how to use it, okay? I'm not gonna give you some more info. So by now, I just want to show you that uh, you're gonna be able to sign up and get a free trial here in Hive. But if you want to continue to use this software, this platform, you will have to pay, okay? So by now I'm going to sign up and here you have two options. You can sign up with email and fill all the data, but by now I'm going to do it with Google and with this account. So you must to allow Hive to access your Google account and to continue. So probably if you have some projects on your Google account or some calendars, you're gonna be able to import that info here into Hive. So you must to give your name, your mobile number, and to write a password in order to complete the subscription. And now it, this is it, welcome, let's give your workspace name. So Sebas Projects, next. How many people do you want to use Hive with? So I already told you that this is to work with your team. So probably, I don't know, one to 10 by now, I really recommend you to use this with people, not just by yourself. And what are you trying to accomplish? Set up a time and resource inside team, track my team goals, etc. So by now I want to run a marketing agency. And what do you want to use Hive with? So you can search your contacts here, probably because this has this has been connected, yes, with Google. So you're gonna have some contacts there that you can check or not. By at least you must check one person. So by now, I'm going to add, oh, what happened? Okay, I'm going to add my second account. I don't want to bother anyone. This is gonna be, and I'm gonna invite it. And choose how would, how you'd like to message with your team. So using Hive messaging or an existing messaging app. You can link this with your Slack or Teams, whatever you want. I'm going to use Hive messaging. And finish. These five short steps are gonna allow you to get start with your Hive account. So they can give you some tutorial if you want, but by now, like this, next up, create your first action. So you must complete this. You can even download the platform for Mac or Windows, I guess, view your products in different layouts, track an action, etc. But by now in this beginner tutorial, I'm going to show you this side menu on the left. So you have different options. As I already told you, you can link this with different apps. So you can select the apps that you need. For this, probably you would have to be a premium user, but there are some others that you could connect without being a premium user. And this is gonna be really useful too. The portfolio view the portfolio, sorry, view is going to allow you to get into your projects. These are like default projects, though just some examples that you can create. 
So I'm going with that lately. You have the approvals view in those projects if they have been finished. So you're going to get the approval, the resourcing forms. If you need some info from your clients or from your teams and the calendar notes and Hive University, some extra info that you would like to get to know if you want to get deeper in this software, you can get started and see all these courses if you want. That's cool too from Hive. So here in my actions, I'm going to click on new or well, this button is in another menus, but here in new, you can create a project, an action, note, meeting or request form. So I'm going to create a project by now and you must give a name and a location. By now, this is going to be just in Seba's projects or you could import a project from these different platforms if you need to. So next project members. So this project could be private just for you if you like specific people like my other account or everyone this could be public and all your team is going to be informed of this project by now this is going to be I, I sorry i want to show you these extra uh, options that any who can edit project member so any project member project owner only or just and if notify or not your users. So these are extra options that obviously in private to me are not going to be. And the layout, basically this is the same. I really want you to use all these different layouts just to, I don't know, like to prove. I don't worry because if you choose, perhaps I'm going to choose a, st a status view you can change the layout on this part and select whatever you want, okay? But probably you would like to use, I don't know, more the calendar view or the Gantt chart. You must try it. By now, I'm going to show you this is uh, the status view and perhaps it's the most popular. So here in the status view, you must create a new action. So here, new action. So I want to create a video about this because I'm going to run a company of digital content about insects. I'm not sure. So you must feel all this data, the description. So I don't know. I what's happening? I need this video to be around 10 minutes. So back action. So Please, each take must be around 15 seconds maximum. You can add some labels if you need to categorize your tasks and actions, dependencies. So if you have all these <laughs> like configured, so I in my project, I need this to be done uh, to the dependencies of the thumbnails and digital content or perhaps the photographers to take the bees takes i don't know that's on you and the status here is unstarted you can put it here in progress or whatever you want but my now i'm going to select this status and that's it So I'm going to click on the X and I have my new action. So when people begin to create the video, he's going to be able to drag and drop this action and to move in progress. I'm going to begin with this video. You can add some more status if you need. So the status of the photos. So I'm going to add the status, the status of the video editing. I'm going to add the status and I can switch this 
by clicking on this arrow so first the photos then the video editing the thumbnail for instance and complete it completed is that you have been able to upload your digital content content into YouTube for instance so that's it all your team is gonna be able to see your action and depending of, of the people that is in charge of the photos and video editing so in progress so first the photos when that person in charge of the photos has been finished he's gonna be able or she to move that into video editing so now the video editor is going to receive all the photos or the material or perhaps hear the voice over I guess this is before video editing so video editing photos voice over and when the video is over just the thumbnail and complete it and obviously you can create a lot of unstarted actions that you can drag and drop in all these steps if you want and all your team is going to be able to view all these actions and the different progresses and also you can open your action and write some comments so I don't know people from photos it was hard uh, please check videos from 1 to 10 these are the best so when the person in, vo in video editing open the action he's gonna know that those videos are better and there is no need to send an email or a whatsapp or whatever not all of this info is gonna be here inside Hive so that's why Hive is so important because this is gonna allow you to have all that here and even send some messages here inside Hive too so you don't need any other platform okay and that's it so that's how you can use Hive this is just for beginners these are just the first actions that you need to know as you can see there are a lot of info there is a lot of info that you could use here in Hive so no worries we're gonna be learning step by step but this is it thanks for watching